I found out the other day, by the way, if you if you take off and the air starts to fill in the plane with the smell of burnt feathers and roast chicken. Bird strike. Bird strike, yes. That's what all the birds just refuse to do stuff for him. <laughs> like Have you ever had one of those, Chris? Yeah, little picket line of, of songbirds. <laughs> all these gulls just sat. Just saying we're not working for cheap. <laughs> cheap. Oh, cheap. oh, you can f*** off, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on then. Al Capone. <laughs> is that a relation to Robin Capone or no, Hawk I... Capone? It's Owl Capone. <laughs> Owl Capone. Capone. <laughs> the notorious woodland gangster. <laughs> Shay, don't get saucy. <laughs> you over there, have you seen Owl Capone? Who? <laughs> oh, no. Have you seen my tawny gun? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> You can hire his goons, they're very cheap. Oh my god. There's all these voles in a garage killed on um, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Wake up with the head of a dormouse in your bed. Yeah. <laughs> Finally brought down on charges of hoarding nuts. Today's show is sponsored by Douglas Hurd's Discount Birds. <laughs> they're going cheap. I'm, I'm trying to work out in my head like the logistics of penguins having sex. You know, after putting the Barry White and the candles and the the mute and the dinner of fine fish or something that he's caught. He's caught. <laughs> Little penguin Italian restaurant. <laughs> Italian waiters of, penguin. Waiters, of course, already dressed. Dominic. Yeah. <laughs> How did we get to avian afterburners <laughs> via a South Pole penguin staffed Italian restaurant? <laughs> we established this. I, I would go to that restaurant. Why would you do that? It'd be they would be able to serve human food. I, to be fair, it's an imaginary Italian restaurant. I just assumed it served actual Italian food. Well, it's not going to serve non-Italian food because then it's not an imaginary Italian restaurant. It's just a restaurant at the South Pole. <laughs> isn't yeah, it? exactly. <laughs> I'm saying it's penguin staff. I'm not saying it's penguin cuisine. Can you imagine, Tom? A penguin chef with a little knife in his big flappy wing? It'll never work. How would he do it? Probably gaffer tape. You'd have to use some system like that. That's probably abuse. I'm almost certain. <laughs> I'm phoning the RSPCA right now, or whatever they have done on the South Pole. Your exploitational racist penguin restaurant will be no more after this. <laughs> and the only scientists could go there, because no one lives there other than scientists. Scientists! <laughs> What's the penguin restaurant like? Is it abusive? <laughs> it's very cheap. Penguins will be there! That silence is brilliant. <laughs> That was beautiful. <laughs> Your next question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ito. <laughs> they want some dozzlings, they're, uh, they're going cheap. 